To make my RESTful web service throw and catch a custom exception message, I'll first need to go and create that exception class. So I'll go to exceptions package and here I will create my own custom exception. So I'll create a new class and I will call it user service exception. So that will be my own class. I'll click on finish. And now to make this class an exception, I will need to extend um, runtime exception like this. And now I will need to create a constructor. So that's going to be public user service exception. And it will take string message. And we will need to call super and give it a message like this. Let's move mouse over and add generated serial version ID. Here we go. So now we have a very simple user section class which we can throw and then catch. Now let's go back to our user controller. And now instead of causing a null pointer exception here, I will actually throw my own custom exception. So I will say if true, something like this, and then throw new user service exception and I will give it a custom message a user service exception is thrown like this now let me import user service exception and to catch this exception I will need to go back to my app exception handler and we have two methods here one catches all general exceptions and one catches specific null pointer exception. So to catch user service exception, we will need to create a new method and make it handle user service exception instead of null pointer exception. User service exception, like this. And again, I'll copy this because the value inside of exception handler is user service exception. I will need to replace the data type of this method argument from null pointer exception to user service exception. And I'll change the name of this method. I'll call it handle user service exception. Okay. And again, I can leave everything here as is. It will still work. Or I can provide a different business logic that needs to be performed when user service exception is handled. Let's first run this example and see if we are able to throw and catch user service exception. So I'll save this and I'll run my application in the debug mode. Let me put a breakpoint here. So I have three breakpoints, one inside of handle user exception, one inside of handle null pointer exception, and one inside of handling a general exception message. So I'll debug my application. Let's check if it's up and running, starting. Okay, it's running. And now let me switch to Postman and send the HTTP request. Send it. And here we go. A breakpoint triggered and let's look which method we are in now. So we are now inside of handling user service exception which confirms that it's working. Let's look if we have the localized description. I will um, step over one line and move mouse over the error messages description. And this time we do have a localized description, which is a custom description that we have provided as a parameter to our user service exception. So let's uh, resume debugging and have a look at the response. And now we have a response that contains our own custom description a user service exception is thrown. 